Hey guys, I have a different style of book today. Today I have a wordless picture book and it might be familiar to a lot of you, but I thought um, today for me it's a really beautiful Earth Day. Love the Earth. And it's really sunny, and on sunny days, I like to go outside and play with sidewalk chalk. So this book reminded me of that, and I hope you enjoy it. It is called Chalk. It is illustrated by Bill Thompson. Chalk. Since there aren't any words in this, I won't be reading, but I will maybe do some little, some um, thinking. Good readers are always thinking when they're reading, and if, even if you don't have words to read, you can read the book by looking and kind of narrating the pictures and thinking, using your thinking brain to think about what it's like. So we have a rainy day. I know this because I see rain and I see umbrellas and raincoats and galoshes and we have a large looks like I was gonna say just a dinosaur but it looks like it's on the playground because I see this bottom part and it has a bag in its mouth so what do you think is happening Looks to me the kids are looking in the bag. They're curious about it. A different view, an aerial view, looking down on the kids. And she's looking into the bag. And what do you see in there? Hmm. She picks out yellow. She draws a sun. You're right. Still noticing some rain because I see puddles and drop marks. Really cool illustrations. Then the sun is now glaring. It's so bright. She's hiding her eyes. Hmm. Why do you think the sun's there? Did you think this would happen? The clouds are parting and the sun is peeking out. The rain is actually gone. What color does she pick out? What do you think she's going to draw? Do you see those? I already see monarchs. So now I'm getting the idea that each time a kid pulls out this magical chalk, the item that they draw comes to life. If you could draw something in chalk and make it come to life, what would you draw? Good ideas. He picks out what color? Wonder what he's going to draw. They cannot believe their eyes. Do you see? What's in the shadow? Look at those faces. Frightened. Their jaws are dropped. Their eyes are, some of them are um, squinting. Others are wide-eyed. Their arms look like they're racing. They're ready to get out of the way because... 
a real live dinosaur. What if words were on this page, what should would she be saying? Tell me right now. One, two, three, go. Here it is. How would you react if a dinosaur came to your playground? What are they going to do? Again, another cool perspective of the way the illustrator drew this through the back part of the children through the tunnel. He grabs another marker. He starts actually drawing inside the tunnel. For clouds and rain. Big old fat rain. What is the rain going to do? What's happening to the dinosaur? All that's left. They decide to put the chalk back. They're on their merry little way. What an adventure with chalk. Yesterday, I decided to draw, um, write in sidewalk chalk on the actual sidewalk, and I just wrote some positive messages for my neighbors because there's a lot of people walking around now. So um, I wonder if you could get some chalk in your hands. What would you write? Would you create something like these kids did? Would you create a positive message? Would you take yourself to a faraway land? I challenge you to get out some chalk and try that. Try something new. Try creating something that maybe you haven't created before. Hope you enjoyed this story. See you next time.